Hello guys and thank you for clicking on the link. This is Alex from TechFusion today with another GPU mining video. So I want to see exactly how well the 6000 series uh, AMD GPUs stack up with its direct competitor which is from a price point of view anyway the NVIDIA 3060 and to see exactly how profitable it is to mine with these cards uh, for Ethereum and Ravencoin. So the point that I'm trying to make here is uh, I'm comparing both Ravencoin and Ethereum because as most of you might know by now, by the end of 2021, Ethereum might be moving on to proof of stake. Although more realistically speaking, I believe it's going to happen somewhere in Q1 of 2022. But that's why we're going to take into consideration Ravencoin as well, because I think anyway that most of the crypto miners are going to move over once 2.0 happens to Ravencoin or other similar coins. So it's quite important for us out there who are planning to start right now into GPU mining to know exactly what GPUs are better for us to buy now in order that uh, we could use them later and still be profitable with them. I know that all of the hype today is about NVIDIA products like the 3060, 70, 80, upcoming 90, LHR versions, non-LHR versions, everybody and mostly everybody is using NVIDIA products. But I'm trying to show you today that these uh, 6000 series from AMD are quite as well profitable and they try to hit the sweet spot of around $100 per month in profitability. So I will use these uh, two 6700 XTs that I have over here. I'll install them in the computer. You'll see a video right here in the corner of me doing so uh, while I talk and uh, we'll put them through the paces. I will show you a spreadsheet that I've put up together and we'll compare this with a website that is quite useful and has a lot of uh, useful information out there. And I do hope that this serves as uh, quite a good guide for you guys, especially if you're trying to get into cryptocurrency and GPU mining in uh, late 2021. So without further ado guys, let's get into the video now and see exactly what the 6000 GPUs right here are worth and what they can do for you in your mining farms. So before we continue, I have to quickly mention that these uh, 6700 XT go for around $850 as you can see on Amazon.com while the 3060s go for around $900. Uh, we are at the end of summer 2021 here, 30th of August, so this is what the prices look uh, right at the end of summer. Uh, that's why I wanted to show you the prices so you can see that they are actually a direct comparison one to each other price-wise anyway. Right, so uh, another website that I want to actually show you guys, this is actually quite a good website, it's a good reference, uh, it's a good guide actually, because it gives you all the hash rates for all the GPUs and as well all the power estimates for the given hash rate for all the GPUs and it gives you for Ethereum, Ergo, Ravecoin and Vertcoin as well. So this, is, uh, this was anyway my go-to site, so I'm going to leave this down in the video description as it is quite useful. And uh, so just to see how exact this website uh, information is, I will just go ahead and see this RX 6700 XT. They say it does around 47 mega hashes for the uh, eight hash algorithm. And just opening up my NB miner here, you can see that yes, it is actually correct. So A6700 XT is doing 47.6, the other one is doing 46.8. Do keep in mind that I'm actually recording this video with OBS on this second uh, 6700 XT, so the hash rate is actually sitting at around 47 for the other one as well. Uh, you can see the power consumption on one of them. Uh, this is the XFX one, which draws up around 113 watts. And they are saying that a 6700 XT is going to draw around, what, 68, 69, 68, where is it, 6700 XT. There we go, around 110 watts from the outlet. And as you can see here, it's actually doing 112, so that's pretty much correct. While the Red Devil uh, draws up around 130, but do keep in mind that I'm actually using this card as a VGA output as well. So it's going to draw up more power and uh, well it has LEDs, the other one doesn't and it has two 100mm fans while the XFX series card has only one 100mm uh, while the other two fans are 90 and on the Red Devil uh, it packs only one single fan of 90mm uh, with uh, the other two being 100 so in terms of hash rates on these 6700 XT, you can do around 47 mega hashes for around 100 and let's say an even 120 watts of power. Um, so we have established that this website is actually uh, quite precise in the information it gives you. Uh, do take this with a pinch of salt, maybe around 10%. Uh, you can plan to have some sort of error or anyway deviations from these, uh, from these numbers. As you know, each GPU is different from one another uh, depending on the silicon uh, lottery and uh, if you are lucky or not. But anyway, uh, for my case anyway here, the 6700 XT is doing quite nicely. 
Right guys, so now I want to quickly show you how to use the table over here. So if you go into benchmarks and if you go into crypto mining Ethereum hash rates and you want to search for specific graphics cards in the table, I've inputted the RX 6700 XT. First, you'll go over the ETH, uh, ETH hash, uh, hash rate. So we have the RX 6700 XT, which is doing 47 mega hashes, as you can see here. And if you continue to scroll down, you will see the ETH hash power consumption. So again, we arrive at the RX 6700 XT and they say it's gonna draw up around 110 watts. But as you've seen before, the Red Devil actually takes up a little bit more power with 120. So that's what we are going to use for our calculations. Um, I'll continue with the next website that uh, you have to use. Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily this one, but something similar to this one where you can input the values. So for instance, for each hash, as you've seen, 47 mega hashes with 120 watts of power, and you can input your own uh, local cost of your electricity. So for instance, in my area, it's $0.16 per kilowatt hour. I can hit calculate now. And if you scroll down to Ethereum, uh, you can see we are doing around $3.47 in pure profit daily for these graphics cards. So this is for each one of them. And this is what you can get with the RX 6700 XT. If we go to our table here, you see RX 6700 XT, uh, the ETH hash algorithm and the power price inputted here. These prices are just for reference to see that they're mostly more or less the same on Amazon. So 47 hashes, 120 watts, doing around $100 of pure profit monthly. Now I will show you once again how you can do it for the NVIDIA 3060s, but overall these are the values that you can come up with and I will explain them, um, explain them briefly. So we'll go back to our website over here. You can. Uh, just set 3060 in here go at the top it hash rate so uh, let's scroll down the list here a little bit you will find that there are non LHR versions and the LHR versions I'm just gonna take the LHR values here because it's uh, gonna be quite difficult nowadays to find non LHR versions unless you specifically request them from Nvidia so just using these uh, values over here 25 mega hashes and let's scroll down and see how um, how much watch wattage uh, these cards are drawing so they're saying it's 120 watts so 120 with uh, 25 let's go back to our calculator over here so uh, 120 is correct but only 25 mega hashes this time and the cost of electricity will remain the same hit calculate once again and you will come up to only 1.63 dollars per day in pure profit when taking away the electricity cost so we go back to the table over here as you can see we have the 25 mega hashes 120 watts of power so the approximate profit that you can expect out of these cards will be of around $48 per month compared to the 100 that the RX 6700 XT is doing you. Um, this uh, seems really bad, but you can actually get the profits up if you start using NB Miner. Uh, it actually has a command in there, I won't go uh, through that command in this video, but it actually has a command in there that you can use and it's going to lift up the LHR from 50% uh, efficiency to all the way up to 69% uh, efficiency. So with this 59% efficiency from the 25 mega, uh, mega hashes as before is going to add you another 15 mega hashes rounding up to around 40 mega hashes and the profit should be at around $60 per uh, month. So if we go back to the table here, what to mine? and we'll input 40 mega hashes for the exact same uh, output of the, uh, sorry, for the exact same wattage. Hit calculate once again. You'll see now that we are standing at around $2.89 uh, per day. So approximately $60 a, a month, that's what you can expect with the 3060s. So moving on guys, I want to show you now Ravencoin. So uh, these are the uh, hash rates and the power consumption for the RX 6700 XTs. I will show you what the website shows me and then I will actually show you what NB Miner is doing with the card. So there is a discrepancy here between what the uh, website is showing you. So that's why I said to take everything with a pinch of salt of what you can see in here and validate this with other people that have used the cards to see uh, if they arrive at the same values. So uh, Kapow algorithm, if you want to go there, you can just go here to crypto mining ergo hash rate. Uh, sorry, not ergo. I wanted, uh, I wanted Ravencoin. Yes. So Kapow hash rate, uh, just click in here, 6700 XT. They say you can do 25 mega hashes. Let's go ahead and input that. So into the Kapow here, 25. Go over now and find the uh, wattage. So 6700 XT once again, 140 watts. Go back to your calculator, 140 watts. 
and uh, same cost of electricity hit calculate and see raven coin well as you can see here raven coin now it does just above uh, 2.5 dollars in crew profit per day so that's around 75 dollars per month but if i shall start the nb miner here and go over the kapow algorithm you'll see that there is a bit of a difference so i'll just start nb miner here with kapow and i'll actually adjust the cards because these uh, have to go up quite a bit higher in order to be able to mine efficiently so um 27 mega hashes because these are the correct settings for my gpus anyway and i'll raise the power limit as well to around zero apply changes to both of them so there we go apply changes and the rest of the settings more or less remain the same and now we can go back into the kapow algorithm and see what we are doing i'll just let it run for a little bit uh, so we can see where we stand as i've said before we can expect around 25 mega hashes or that's what the uh, website is uh, telling us that we can expect with 140 watts of power but uh, let's see exactly where we stand so uh, 25 let's see okay so as you can see here i just uh, let it stabilize only for uh, a minute or so but uh, the hash rate doesn't really go up to 25 it's more like 24 and this card since i am using it as a vga output does even less and the actual power that the cards are drawing one is doing 210 and the other one is doing 200 so it's actually quite a bit off from the estimate of the website i'm not sure exactly what settings they're using to gain these values or what exactly uh, gpus they have been using but this is a bit too optimistic so i will just actually input the real uh, thing into the mining calculator and see exactly uh, the hash rate and the exactly uh, the profits that you can expect to make out of these uh, gpus so um, I've actually went ahead and did this already. So 24 mega hashes for around 200 and uh, well 200 watts each. It will add you up to around $69 in profitability for each of the cards. So if I go to the mining calculator and adjust everything for the uh, well real scenario over here, I'll just put in 24 with 200 watts and maintain the 0.16 and hit calculate. You can now see that the Raven coin is actually doing around 2.2 dollars. Uh, well in pure profits per day so that equals up to actually around $60 per month um, this price was calculated in advance so that's why it was 69 so $60 uh, per month in pure profit for the RX 6700 XT using the Raven uh, hash rate to uh, well the Raven algorithm to calculate the hash rate okay guys moving on now I just want to see for the Raven uh, algorithm how uh, efficient a 3060 is and I will compare the website to somebody on YouTube who actually did the test uh, with physical cards so I will leave links down to his video in my description down below so you can check it out for yourself um, so going over the website here you can see the 3060 is going to do around 21 mega hashes and let's go ahead and input that into here so 21 mega hashes with a power draw of uh, 110 watts right so let's input that and see exactly what we arrive at 110 watts this is what the website is telling us so this is what we are doing with the same cost of electricity so in my case if I would have done the same with the 3060 I would arrive at around 2.18 dollars in profits per month so that's roughly 60 dollars in profits every month uh, now let's uh, compare this with uh, with the video from the um, from uh, the office mining here, and he tested out a bunch of uh, 3060s, and we'll just reference the 3060 that he has uh, tested, non the non TI uh, LHR version, which uh, well the best case scenario here was 24.1, so 24 I will take 24, and with the 150 watts of uh, power that was being drawn, so um, 24 with 150. So he did a bit better on the mega hashes, but also a bit worse on the wattage. Hit calculate and let's see the results. The results are $2.88 uh, per uh, day in pure profits. So this will equal up to around $86 per month. Let's go back to the spreadsheet over here. So uh, if we input the values, these are the values from the website. But if we input the values from the real world, then uh, as I've mentioned before, you can actually expect to do around uh, 86 instead of the 66. So $20 better in approximate profit per month while mining Ravencoin with the NVIDIA 3060. 
I hope that with today's video and information that was presented here, I can help you guys make an informed decision upon uh, what GPU that you should probably buy in 2021, especially when uh, considering crypto mining in 2021 and onwards. And if you liked the video, a like would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well, as we will have uh, more GPU crypto mining videos coming up in the near future. Thank you once again, guys, for watching. This was Alex from Tech Fusion, and see you in the next one. So on your way out, you can probably check the next video over here if you're interested in more crypto mining with your GPUs. Or you can subscribe to the channel over here if you haven't already. And uh, this was Alex from Tech Fusion, and I will hope to see you in the next video over here.